Welcome back to Questing Beast. I'm Ben. Today we're taking a look at the Hex Crawl Toolbox by Games Omnivorous. This is a big box that is full of cardboard hexes that you can use to create your own hex crawls for D&D or other adventure games. Now, this is created by the same people who made products like the Bottled Sea and the Undying Sands, and it's completely compatible with them. So if you like those products, which I've reviewed before, then you'll probably like this one too, because you can make much larger hex crawls that are much more varied with all the things that come inside. Let's open it up to see what we get inside here. This goes up here, and we have this little band that slides right off. Very nice. Turn it over like that. Lid pops right off. And this does come with a bag that you can put your hexes in, although there is a lot more hexes, so I don't know if they're all gonna fit in one bag. And there's a number of other things in here as well. Some little tokens, looks like treasure chests, a little pawn that you could probably use to represent the party. And these could be used for rivers, I assume. If you wanted to uh, draw out rivers, it looks like pieces from Catan. So, I mean, it makes sense, it's a hex map. We have a little pamphlet here, stocking the towers for creating your own little wizard towers. Fun little random tables. We have a box of, or a book of instructions for using it, kind of going through different ways that you can use the hex crawl. It includes what is this, some general advice for hex crawls, how to set up a hex crawl with the overall size, how to create random tables and treasure, putting in factions, uh, doing things like creating encounters and weather systems for it. There's a section on all the different biomes that are included in the box, including the pastoral section, along with stuff that you can use right out of the box. So if you make your own hex crawl with this, you can immediately start playing because there is stuff provided. Although you could also use other OSR rule sets, things like Hubris or Shadow Dark, uh, often have large numbers of encounters in those books broken down by biome. So you could easily import those in if that's what you wanted to do. Section on the desert, very similar to the uh, Undying Sands. And each of these has the same things, encounters, treasure, events, and rumors. So encounters might be uh, behemoth, uh, or behemoth, rattlesnake, mid-level hypnotic tail, and venomous bites. There aren't any actual stats for these monsters. You're going to have to make that up or import that from somewhere else. Treasure might be something like the Shamshir of the Black Moon, trapped souls inside, freed as flesh-eating spirits during eclipses. Or rumors, uh, dark, tab dark tablets and inscriptions for vile spells lay half-buried in a long-forgotten site. More stuff for the ocean and the forest. You got the jungle, very vibrant. Swamps, mountains, steps, and four different play styles at the back here. Style number one would be a, creating a random region where you build a map and you start filling in all of the details. You're gonna be using one of these little sheets here to do that. Uh, you can also create a quest because there are these little postcards here that come with kind of pre-built quests that you can set up and go with right away. There's the hex in a bag format where the map is created randomly as players explore by just pulling hexes right out of the bag. And there's the uncharted lands format where you create a uh, hex map with locations on each of the hexes because some of them are blank and you flip them all face down. And as the players explore, sometimes you flip one up and there's an interesting location there and sometimes there's not. So it's more exploration focused. Here's the pad of paper that it comes with that allows you to create these little pre-built different areas. It's a little bit sticky on the side there. I think the dark uh, line is a river. So you can quickly create your own little zones, put your rumors, encounters, and treasure in here, make them up on your own or you know steal them from the book. Here's some of the little postcard missions, the quests, which as you can see, each have a pre-built little zone on them already to go. And on the back side, you have things like the quest, what the events are, the encounters, and the notable locations there, along with some things you might find. And now for the real meat and potatoes in this box, here is all of the hexes. So there is, looks like three tiles, or three of these sheets for each of the different biomes. Some of these are you know, somewhat blank, it's just cracked earth, but they come with plenty of interesting landmarks that you can use as well. So three, yeah, three for each of the different biomes. You have to punch them all out. It looks like they come out quite easily and you can assemble whatever hex crawl you want. So here's a quick little hex crawl that I just threw together in about one minute just by putting some stuff next to each other. You can see that there's tons of variety that's possible here. One cool thing is that all of the hexes are double-sided. So we just have all of these standing stones here and it's just normal grass on the other side. So you can use the grass to hide the fact that there's a secret thing there, or if you just want more generic terrain, you can use that side. And that's true for all of them. 
So some of them have like yeah, boabab trees or whatever on this side, and it's just generic grasslands over there. Sometimes they have a weird thing on both sides, and you can just pick whichever side that you want. One nice thing is that if you have the Undying Sands and the Bottled Sea sets that were sold before this box came out, and you have some of those um, tiles, they are going to match up with the new tiles perfectly fine. They have the exact same color and similar art style, so you're not gonna get any conflict. It's gonna be very compatible. Like This is from the Bottled Sea set, and this is from this uh, set, and you can see that they work perfectly well with each other. However, if you do have the Bottled Sea and the Undying Sands uh, previous sets, you are just gonna have a lot more ocean and desert tiles because this set also comes with ocean and desert. So you'll just have a surplus of those. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it is quite nice that it's all compatible. So that's it for the Hex Crawl Toolkit, although I would really characterize it more like a toy box. It is a toy that you play with in order to activate your imagination. Uh, my kids love creating worlds and creating continents with this sort of thing, and this will greatly expand the number of things that they can build, so I'm sure they'll really enjoy it. And if you need uh, just ideas for a new campaign, you can grab a bunch of these tiles, slap them down, mix them up, and you immediately get ideas. And the little pamphlet that the book comes with allows you to start playing with it right away, or at least you know, gives you a starting point that you can flesh out with a more detailed rule set if that's what you want. Really beautiful presentation. The box looks fantastic. All of the pieces are really high quality. I'm very happy with it, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun just playing around with this thing. As usual, links are in the description below for where you can pick this up for yourself if you want to get it. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.